Hey there, it is Faith Talk Today. I'm Rick Probst. Thank you so much for being with us on uh, Faith Talk Today, the uh, weekend edition. We are so excited. This is the, the first time we're doing Faith Talk Today on the weekend. And uh, we wanted a huge guest for our first show. <laughs> and uh, Alistair Begg said, yeah, I'm not doing anything else. Sure, I'll hang with you. So uh, it's good to have Alistair Begg. He's got a new book out. We're going to talk to him about it in a second. It's called The Christian Manifesto. He, of course, the host of Truth for Life and the pastor of Parkside Church in Cleveland, Ohio. Pastor, how are you? I'm very well, thank you. I'm uh, delighted to uh, be with you and uh, uh, all the best with this uh, weekend strategy that you've got going. Yeah, it's good stuff. And uh, my producer, Ezra Ortiz, says, now when you talk to Alistair, he was, point he was putting these little bugs in my, ask him this. Ask him that. So he wants to know all about this book, and I know we all do. It's a brand new book for you. Uh, is it out yet, or is it coming out? September 1st, I think, is when it will hit the shelves, or, or, right. or maybe hit the shelf. Hit the shelves. <laughs> 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 no, it'll hit the shelves, and we'll tell, uh, you where you can, we'll tell you where you can get that book uh, in just a few. We're excited about it. It's called The Christian Manifesto, Jesus's Life-Changing Words from the Sermon on the Plain. All right, Manifesto. Why did you call it The Christian Manifesto? Because we couldn't think of a better name. <laughs> 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 Everything else we tried didn't work. We, uh, we were actually a little afraid of uh, Manifesto because mm. it perhaps connotes uh, a more strident tone um, than uh, what, of course, uh, is found in the words of Jesus and therefore in the, uh, the, the content of this book. But in order to make the point that uh, there are a lot of people out there um, banging a lot of drums and marching under all kinds of banners, and uh, the banner, the only banner under which the Christians should eventually march is a banner that bears the name of Jesus Christ and that that uh, name uh, is the name that uh, uh, gives to us uh, the instruction. And uh, so that's the instruction that's contained in the sermon, and that's what's contained in the book. Now, he talks about, uh, ladies and gentlemen, the sermon. It is Luke chapter 6, and it's called The Sermon on the Plain. And let's talk about that a little bit. Why, why did you decide? Because I know you've written so many books, and there's so many more that you're going to put out. There's all kinds of things going on in that head of yours and that heart, and it's good stuff. But why Luke 6 now in this particular book, The Christian Manifesto? Well, as with other stuff that I've done, the, the reason that we went to Luke was because um, in years past, we had worked our way systematically and consecutively through the book. And when uh, the material had aired um, on Luke 6, uh, the response of people to it was uh, is sort of inordinately large. It seemed to strike a note. It, it rang a bell. And so we said, well, perhaps it would be good for us to tackle this, to put it down, so that uh, we can uh, describe the, the instructions of Jesus. And it falls at a time, though, and I think this is part of your question, it falls at a time where, in some ways, uh, the United States of America is more of a divided nation than it has been in a long, long time. And even within the framework of Christianity, and even within the framework of evangelical Christianity. And so it is a small attempt to say to one another, let's remember that our banner it bears the name of Jesus and that we are citizens of his kingdom first and citizens of an earthly kingdom secondarily. And so let's focus on uh, the primary aspect of that. Pastor Alistair Begg with us. He's the host of Truth For Life. You hear that here at Faith Talk Atlanta. You're listening to Faith Talk today. It's the uh, weekend edition. Also, the pastor of Parkside Church in Cleveland, Ohio. And talking about a new book that's out, it's called The Christian Manifesto, Jesus's Life-Changing Words from the Sermon on the Plain. Yeah, it's interesting. You talk to the, thank you, Ezra, for popping that, uh, that graphic up of the book there. If you're watching a uh, Facebook Facebook Live, the Christian Manifesto there. Yeah, as Jesus prayed in the last part of John about unity, that was a huge prayer. And there are times in my life I go, 
God, how are you going to pull this together? Jesus, I mean, it just seems like we're so disorganized and dysfunctional. But this is a great timing for this book. Now, Pastor, let's talk about the uh, what what Jesus is calling us to do in, in Luke 6, because there's always Jesus ministering to the people, caring for the needs, but also he has a powerful point that he wants for us to do here in 2023. What is it? Well, uh, we point out at the very beginning of the thing that uh, it is not a manifesto that is orientated towards a political perspective, but rather that it is towards our relational and individual lives. And of course, he begins with the, the very word blessed, blessed are, or uh, happy are, or joyful are. And, you know, every day of our lives, we have advertisers and uh, politicians telling us, uh, here's, here's where you'll find satisfaction, here's where mm -hmm. you'll find joy, follow me. And uh, that's not all wrong, for sure, there's elements of that. But we should expect that the incarnate God would have the best handle on a life of joy, a life of laughter, a life of fulfillment, a life that is the ultimate adventure. And essentially, that's what it is. I mean, Jesus begins his ministry by saying the, ti the, the time of God is fulfilled, the kingdom of God is at hand, repent and believe the good news. And then he goes on to say, and let me tell you more good news. And, and staggeringly, he begins, blessed are the poor, the poor. But I mean, people say, no, that can't possibly be right. What do you mean, happy are the poor? So we need <laughs> to understand what Jesus is saying. And that, of course, is part of what the book endeavors to do. The Christian Manifesto, Jesus' life-changing words from the Sermon on the Plain, Alistair Begg with us. Uh, you, you said you taught this in a series uh, there at, uh, at Parkside. Did it surprise you at all versus the response? It was, it was uh, so powerful that you decided to go ahead and uh, just uh, go on and, and print it out, put it in book form. Did it surprise you at all, the uh, series? Well, I'm always surprised when, I mean, I shouldn't be surprised that the Word of God does the work of God, but I'm always surprised when, you know, my part in it may uh, reach uh, in, in a way that we never intended. I, I will tell you this, that um, in reading this material now, as, as I have it in front of me, rereading it after the fact, um, I found it a quite disturbing experience. I, I said to people, I, I felt as though I had stood on a rake and the handle came up and smacked me right on the head <laughs> uh, in, in, a, in a very necessary way. Uh, because what, I, what, I, what happens when we get close up to the words of Jesus is that it, start, it stands as a plumb line against which we have to gauge our own lives and our own aspirations. And, you know, I realize how seductive our surrounding culture is and how easy it is to try and accommodate our own sort of cultural values and presuppositions to our understanding of Christianity. And then suddenly realizing, no, Jesus isn't doing that at all. He's actually turning, he's reversing the values that have become part and parcel of our lives. And, and so, yeah, I'm both surprised and encouraged by the challenge. Alistair Begg with us. We're talking about the Christian Manifesto. I was going to ask you, my next question was going to be, what did you pull out of it, this series? Because you put your heart, your soul, a lot of prayer and listening. Uh, and as you minister to the congregation there, and then you decide to put it in book form for us, thank you very much. But that, what a beautiful picture, the whole rake. And uh, I mean, I was brought up on slapstick. So, you know, you had me, you had me at rake stepping on it and, yeah. and uh, just popping you uh, in the head. But that's what we need sometimes, right? Don't we need? We just really need that to wake us up. Yeah. Well, I mean, and Jesus does that. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's a compassionate, wonderful friend. He has these followers, and he, but he speaks to them in loving ways that, that uh, bring them up short. You know, for example, he says, woe to you when all speak well of you. <laughs> what? His followers must have said, well, aren't people supposed to like us? I mean, aren't we? Uh, isn't that what we're supposed to do? The average church is tempted to say, what we have to do is get rid of all the bad parts or the difficult parts, and we want to make sure that people really like us. And Jesus is saying, well, they should like you because you have a 
humble heart, because you have a forgiving spirit, because you have a joyful countenance, but countenance, but they are not to like you because you have decided simply to laugh at their jokes and simply to adopt their lifestyle and simply to accommodate your Christianity into a small corner of your life that looks largely like the rest of the culture. Mm, so good. Pastor Alistair Begg, uh, the host of Truth For Life. You hear that here at Faith Talk Atlanta. You're listening to Faith Talk today. It's uh, the weekend edition, and we're so glad, so happy uh, that we were able to, to snag uh, Pastor Alistair. Uh, he's always been such a delight for the show and always brought uh, a great word, a great guest. Pastor of Parkside Church in Cleveland, Ohio. New book is called uh, The Christian Manifesto. Is Jesus's life-changing words from the Sermon on the Plain? I'm going to ask you one more, uh, one more uh, question, Pastor, and then uh, we've, we've, uh, we'll, we'll end the show. Um, uh, what are you excited about uh, in the future there at Parkside? What are uh, maybe uh, truth or life? What's going on with you? Well, I'll tell you what I'm, I'm actually hoping and praying for, and that is uh, a special visitation of God. That might sound. Uh, rather presumptuous, but um, I, I'm actually uh, praying the same thing for the nation. I, I think, Rick, that we have reached a, a tipping point that um, we might never have imagined in our lifetime and that we are badly in need of a kind of um, reawakening of mm. uh, uh, biblical foundations, Christian convictions, in a way that actually transforms our, our lives. I mean, you take the words of Jesus here, they're so revolutionary. He says, I, I want you to love your enemies. Love your enemies. Now, I mean, everybody says, no, that's not what you do with enemies. And then he says, and you should bless those who curse you, and you should pray for those who abuse you. Now, how in the world is that ever going to happen except mm. for the, the, the movement of the Spirit of God? And uh, I've been reflecting a lot on the 60s and uh, all that happened in the Calvary Chapel days and those early mm -hmm. days, what was going on down in Dallas at Expo 72, and realizing now that 50 years on, that was a movement of the Spirit of God. Mm -hmm. And so I'm saying, Lord, uh, we need you to come and, and do this again. That's what I'm hoping for, praying for. That's what I'm excited about. That is so good. There's a psalm, and I... I don't know. I can't remember where it is, but I have a mark in my Bible. It says, revive us, O Lord, that we may rejoice in you. Yep. And that's what we need. Thank you for that prayer. Pastor, thank you so much for your heart, your ministry. We appreciate all you do uh, on, uh, on on Truth For Life and also there at Parkside Church in Cleveland, Ohio. By the way, if you get on their website, you can see some great videos, some great resources uh, there. Not only Truth For Life, but Parkside Church in Cleveland, Ohio. And definitely go to Truth For Life. You can find out more about the book. There's a link there for Truth For Life on our website, faithtalkatlanta.com. You can find out all about the book, The Christian Manifesto, and that is Jesus' life-changing words from the Sermon on the Plain. Pastor, thank you so much. Look forward to talking to you again. I hope so, Rick. Thank you. Best to all of you down there. Thank you so much. Hey, we appreciate uh, your time this weekend. Thank you so much for listening to Faith Talk today. You can uh, hear this in podcast, uh, uh, podcast form, you can go to faithtalkatlanta.com. It's on Facebook Live. You can watch that over and over again. Tell your friends about this particular interview. It is a great one. And we've got more to come. Ezra Ortiz is my producer. Ezra, thank you so much for your hard work. And thank you again for snagging Alistair. We got to get him back and talk about after the book has been released and the response and and uh, again, what he's excited about in the future, we are as well. Uh, it's time to go until next weekend. I'm Rick Probst, and this is Faith Talk Today. See ya.